Hello there and welcome to my chaos. It is time for another episode of Disney Dreamlight Valley and today we are doing Ursula's Dream Bundle? Is that, is that what they're called? I don't even know. I am so excited to get Vanessa to join the valley. I mean obviously she's Ursula. Ursula's already here. But Vanessa, Vanessa. Because Ursula's part of my teen girl squad. Teen girl squad! And so if I can have Vanessa walking around with me, we can just be baddies all around Disney Dreamlight Valley. So let's go ahead and buy this. Ah! Oh my god, Vanessa, Vanessa! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so what do we do? Okay, these legs were made for walking. Okay, equip the Vanessa Ursula dreams. Wait, so we can have it immediately? Ursula is now able to walk on land. You should speak to her about that. What? I thought we were gonna have to work our way up to that. She, like, we already have her? That's it? That's all I had to do? <gasps> what? What? Is she? <gasps> what? Shut up. Oh. My. Vanessa, you were not wasted away. Look at you. Did, did her throne always glow? I swear Flotsam and Jetsam, like I didn't see their glowing eyes before. Oh my god, look at her. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Her beautiful raven hair. Vanessa! Vanessa, where are you going? Well, hello, angelfish. I must say, the view from up here is not a smidge better. Ursula, is that you? That's right, dearie. Don't look so surprised. I'm not. Wait a second. Ariel told me you made yourself look like this before to trick Prince Eric. Ugh, mm. uh, and what a waste of time that was. See? See? This is why, this is why me and Vanessa <laughs> are gonna work perfectly together because she's never gonna go after my man. She's never going to go after my man. She only went after him to just, you know, replace Ariel and whatever. Like she doesn't actually care. <laughs> Vanessa, whatever your name is, I love you. I love you. You're probably my second bibble to scar. But no, I'm simply dying to explore the surface of this little village. I'd have chosen some other form, something closer to my natural beauty. Oh, we love, we love that. She, she loves her natural form. But this was the only potion I had lying around. Good ingredients are almost as hard to find around here as good conversation. You should talk to Scar, cause like, he's having the same problem apparently. Um... I definitely agree with the first one. We are going to be village besties, but is she gonna hate me saying that? I wanna say it anyway. Not so fast, Jamie. I'm not quite ready to go for just a tour yet. Why, Vanessa? What do you mean? There's something about dreamlight magic in the air. It's wreaking havoc with my enchantment. If I'm to maintain this form, I'll need your help. Okay. That is a bit of your magic to seal the spell. Be a dear and bring me some purple rising pentstemons. I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay, some there's all that. Okay, but I hope I don't regret this. I won't. Have we got a deal? Yes, Vanessa, we have got a deal. Here, Ursula, take all the things. Why did she take raspberries too? Was that on the list? I don't even remember. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. This is exactly what I asked for, and don't worry, angelfish. It'll be easier for me to gather my own ingredients now that I can travel on land. Finally! Oh. I'll just take a moment to put all this together. There! Now there's one last thing to do before the enchantment is complete. You'll have to paint a portrait of me. Okay! A portrait? Can't I just take a picture with my camera? That's like painting a portrait, but in the blink of an eye. Listen, we all love photographs. We all, we love them. We love them. However, no, there's so much more love put in the painting. Get out of here. Expedient. I like it. Well, there's only one way to find out. Try it. Oh, okay. Ursula's for it, apparently. I love her. She's perfect. She's perfect. 
Ah, finally! The enchantment is complete, thanks to you, Jamie. Now, I can't wait to explore the valley, and speaking of exploring, why don't you start by showing me around your house? Okay! You haven't been shy about barging into my home uninvited. It's only fair I get to return the favor. Of course, Ursula, you can come anytime. Shall we? Yes, girl! So this is Ursula's music? So what do you think, Vanessa? This is where you live? You don't like it? Yeah. Well, I like what you've managed to do with the place. But it's not quite the palace I was expecting. Girl, what? What? What are you talking about? <laughs> I literally have, like, thrones right here. I was hoping to see something grander. What? <laughs> what? Excuse me? I don't know how to make it any more grand than this. I guess I can take you for dinner at Chez Remy. I'll be the judge of that. Yes, I love that for you. And maybe we can cook something for you too. Yeah, because Remy won't do the cooking in his own restaurant, that's for sure. How come she didn't come in? Oh, she's over there, standing in a corner creepily. <laughs> okay, cook a three star or higher meal. We're gonna cook her five stars. All right, Ursula or Vanessa, whatever. Hmm, the food is tolerable. Oh. It doesn't hold a candle to the delicacies I used to enjoy oh. before being exiled. I'm so sorry that happened to you, Ursula, mm -hmm. but it'll have to do. I wonder why she was exiled. Was that ever released? I've got an idea. If you want to be impressed, let's go to Scrooge's McDuck or Scrooge McDuck's General Store. It's the most traffic. Um, maybe it'll be more to your liking. Sounds intriguing. To Scrooge McDuck's general store we go. I haven't even checked the store today. Literally walking around Vanessa now. Like it's happened. We are baddies together. Look at us. Look at us. Us two baddies. Now all we need is Eric so that we can have the bad squad. Well, I mean, Eric's not a baddie, but we need Scar. I wish we could hang out with more than one character at once. We could just walk in formation, you know? That'd be so fun. All right, come on, Vanessa, let's go. Um, what is this? Hello? That's like terrifying. Monsters Inc. Mike's short seat. Okay, whatever, give it to me. Okay, don't have that either. Oh my God, you know what I got yesterday? I finally got the vine wall. I finally got the vine wall. It's beautiful. It's perfect. I haven't even put it anywhere yet, <laughs> but I was so thrilled. Oh wait, what was I doing? Where is Ursula? Vanessa? Oh, she's up here. What do you think? <laughs> Typical. A shop just as full of hogwash as its owner. Oof. But I suppose it's better than anything I've seen so far. Rude! You saw my house! I mean, good for dissing Remy, but not my house! Though it doesn't compare to an underwater palace. I mean, you're right. Well, maybe I can buy some furniture while we're here and make the valley a little more to your liking. Now you're talking angelfish. Purchase a piece of elegant furniture to decorate the village. This is what is defined as elegant? One of these pieces of furniture? I mean, I guess I'll buy this table since apparently I don't have it. Ta-da! Amazing, stunning. All right, Ursula, not my turtle. I wanna stop! Angelfish, I love what you've done with the place. Thank you, Ursula. I tried really hard. <laughs> like just so hard. You really do have a talent for turning the mundane into the fabulous. I knew you'd appreciate me. And you show all these poor unfortunate souls what to aspire to. Oh my god, she's so nice to me. Just like I do with my deals. Now, I need time to devise plans for what else I want to do in the village. Until then, can you wait with bated breath? No, I can't! Mm -hmm. Wh what do you mean I have to wait? Oh, but first, a reward for helping me. Here, take this old necklace. I was wondering if you were going to get her necklace. Once upon a time, it was part of one of my most brilliant endeavors. It's useless now, of course, no magic left in it, but it looks stunning on you! <gasps>
I'm gonna throw up. And we can start the next quest. We can immediately start the next quest. Oh my god. 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 Ursula, Vanessa, I love you. You're second to Scar oh. as my best friend. Ah, Jamie, there you are. I've thought of a way to continue what we started together. I'm going to make the surface of the valley far more entertaining. Are you saying I did not do a good enough job? Quite frankly, I tried my best. I mean, this little patch in here needs some work. I don't know. I think I want to redo it in here. Like the, like the whole plaza, honestly, just needs some work. I don't know. I don't know. What, what what do you have in mind, Vanessa? And I need an assistant. Tell me you'll help me always. Yeah, see? Always. <laughs> Fabulous. Now, Angelfish, I don't know if you've heard, but we sea folk are superb entertainers. I'd like to show the villagers what they're missing and put on a performance for the valley. <laughs> Something that'll put Triton's boring little spectacles to shame. I love that for you. You could get some you could get some villagers to help you. That would be a good opportunity for um, you to show them how it's done. Hmm, you do have a point. Uh -huh. I suppose I could use some backup singers to compliment my stunning voice. Who do you think would work? Um, we need someone... to be your partner in crime for duets. Maybe Mother Gothel? Gothel! <laughs> I'd love for her to be part of the show. Oh, they're friends. We need someone uh -oh, with a sweet high voice for harmonies. Maybe Mirabelle? I thought they were going to say Ariel. Mirabelle? Her singing voice would contrast yours nicely. Okay, right. It would. We need someone for the lower harmonies. Maybe Kristoff? Ew. Why not Eric? He doesn't like to brag, but he's a pretty great singer, and he plays a mean lute. Kristoff, I doubt he'll try to upstage me. He'll do. I love that for you. Great. Sounds like that's everyone we'll need. I'll ask them to join. Join? Hardly. No one graces Ursula's stage without an audition. I love her. I worship her. And since you're going to be helping me, you should look the part. Here, put these on. Please don't make me change. I had them made for you. Oh, never mind. I'll change. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. I'll change, Ursula. I'll change. Give me one second. I just want to talk to Beast real fast so that I can build up my friendship level with it. Oh my god, I can wear my horns and the hair. It's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. I can still have on my horns with my hair. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love the jacket. It's perfect. I love it. Does it billow? <gasps> oh yeah, that's beautiful. I love it. It's amazing. All right, Vanessa, what do you think? Oh wait, what am I doing? What am I supposed to do? All right, hold auditions for, okay, so I need to talk to Mirabelle, Kristoff, and Mother Gothel. Oh, Mir hi, Mirabelle. There oh wait, Mirabelle and Kristoff? Oh, Anna, you're here to see Kristoff cheating on you with Mirabelle and Moana. I swear I won't forget this. Why do I regret this? In my mind, reckless. Thoughts are feeling endless. Sitting up, I'm breathless. Anxiety's infectious. I feel so defenseless, betrayed and embarrassed. I hate being open. I hate being broken. I feel like an ocean filled up with emotion. Anger ain't a potion. Rub it on like lotion. I can feel it soaking. Reopen. The scars have awoken. I I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go Oh, she's already trying to seduce Kristoff over here. Um, Vanessa, are we sure that we want to have Mirabelle and Kristoff in a show together? That might stir up quite a bit of drama. 
actually you know what that's probably perfect um hey. yeah I'm sure we've all seen I'm sure you've all seen Mirabelle and Kristoff eating dinner all the time together hanging out together um they're clearly an item like clearly an item oh and Moana's not too far off too Kristoff Mirabelle and Moana are like a thruple but Mirabelle and Kristoff really seem to be hitting it off specifically hola Jamie um what is oh that's for Belle a show like no other Mirabelle how would you like to be a backup singer for Ursula sing with Ursula Really? That sounds like fun. You know, sometimes I think Ursula may be a little like my Tio Bruno. Misunderstood. Maybe if we did more things with her. Ooh, Mirabelle understands. Maybe she can join the teen girl squad. No, probably not. Look at that. Look at look at her face. She too, she too sweet. She's too sweet. She doesn't fit our vibe. <laughs> she don't fit the vibe here. Exactly. Now, Ursula does want me to audition you. Maybe you could just sing a couple of notes for me? Sure, and I know just the song. Well, what do you think? Um, wonderful, amazing, I'm blown away. Aw, thanks, Jamie. Now tell Ursula you're perfect for the job. I can't wait to sing with everyone. We, we definitely have to talk again soon. Time to make my family proud. Okay, where'd Kristoff go? Kristoff, I see you staring at Mirabelle from the corner. I see you. Okay. Hey, Kristoff, Ursula's looking for backup singers for a big performance, and I thought you'd be great. Would you want to help out? Maybe you could play your lute, too. And... Mirabelle will be there. Wow, of all the things I thought you might ask, that definitely wasn't one of them. It's okay if you're not feeling up to it. Oh, I'm up to it, especially since Mirabelle will be doing it. No, if you'd like me to, I'm happy to help, especially since Mirabelle will be there. Ursula wanted me to have you audition. Oh, well, I guess I can just play a song for you. There, was that okay? He's so dull. Anna, Anna, you deserve better. I mean, he's cheating on you with Moana and Mirabelle. Quite frankly, Moana's too good for him too. One say Mirabelle is. Mirabelle's fine. But Moana? Moana's way too good for Kristoff. <laughs> way too good for Kristoff. Um, I'm not telling him his voice is dreamy. Your voice is like a warm hug, I guess. <laughs> Aw, thanks. Congratulations. Can't wait to see you perform. He's like, I can't I wait really to see appreciate Mirabelle. It. Yeah, whatever. Um, where's Mother Gothel, aka Ursula's bestie? She's right next to us, too. They're all just, like, over here. Wait, where is she? Wasn't she over here? Oh, she's right here. Hello. Oh, look who it is. What tedious task do you have for me today? So, Ursula is organizing a big show, and she wants me to be the star. Well, look no more. It's about time someone asked me to make my debut. Or actually, she wants you to charm the crowd. Why, of course I will, and brilliantly, too. See you there, Jamie. Ta-ta. Yeah, she doesn't need to audition. Donna Murphy does not need to audition. Tell me everything, Angelfish. They refused, didn't they? No, Ursula. What is with the villains and their confidence issues? Girl. Oh, well, too bad. No, no, they all accepted. Kristoff and Mirabelle's auditions went great, but Mother Gothel didn't even sing. But, uh, I'm sure she'll be great. I'll be the judge of that. Don't worry, dearie. <laughs> You've done a fine job. Now there's just a couple of things I need you to do for me while I go talk to my new backup singers. I've been chatting with Scrooge and he tells me he has some sort of device that amplifies the voice of those who speak it. A microphone? Yes. yes, that's it. I want you enchanted for my backup singers. Just a little something to help them with stage fright. Oh, hey, baby, how are you? We'll need an item from each of them for the enchantment. What do you need me to get? Something they use often, but won't miss. Something they can replace easily. Let's see, Mirabelle always has a lot of those ridiculous pinwheels, and I think Kristoff got a, pick, a new pickaxe recently, but the old one's still lying around. As for Mother Gothel, I know she has plenty of potion bottles in the giant willow. I'm sure she won't mind parting with one. 
I have to go talk to my um, boyfriend. Boyfriend, where are you going? Quite frankly, I'm not worried about um, Eric and Belle. Honestly, I think I Belle and Eric should be great friends and Belle can see what a healthy relationship looks like. What a healthy relationship looks like. What a healthy relationship looks like. Baby, I really want to do something nice for Ariel. What? So I thought I should take her on a picnic. <gasps> In our picnic area that I made for Mickey and Minnie, but also so that it'd be um, easy access for us to sneak off to. Are you? Uh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Eric, what am I to you? Am I not cute enough for you? After all I've done for you, how can you do this to me? Where do you think Ariel's gonna go? Hmm? I stuck her back in the ocean. She's not coming back to the land. You're gonna have to go back into the ocean. So where I think you two should go? To the bottom of the ocean. I cannot believe he said that to me. I cannot. I cannot believe that. Eric, who do you think you are? Um, Dazzle Beach, Frosted. Go to the Frosted Heights, Eric. Go ahead and go to the Frosted Heights. That's a little cold for us, but I bet Ariel would like to explore up there. Good, I hope she freezes. It would be an adventure, yes. Yes, I'm sure it would. Well, the location's decided. What should I bring along to enjoy our main course? Glass. Great idea. We definitely have to have a dessert. I'll ask Grem- Remy? My enemy? Eric, we're through. Oh, look, look who's back, it's Eric. Oh, come to bake for me, Eric. Have you come to bake for me back? That's too bad, Eric, you lost me. Go cry to Kristoff. What is he doing to my cauldron? Did you see that? He like put something in my cauldron. You trying to poison me? He's probably trying to put a love spell on me. Have you ever heard Ariel sing? Oh, she has the most beautiful voice. He's trying to put stuff into my potion to make me love him again. At the same time, trying to make me jealous. Oh, now you're bowing to me? Yeah, I know I'm a queen. It's not gonna work, Eric. You're gonna have to work a lot harder than that. Stop trying to poison me. So like, she can hang around Eric all she wants. I'm not threatened. I, I don't think Eric's gonna leave me for Belle because quite frankly, I love Belle. And even though she believes she's above this poor provincial life or whatever, living in her village in France, she's a little... Where's the excitement, you know? If anything, Moana would be the threat. I would be threatened by Moana. Or Mulan. Ariel's not a threat. I, I um, secluded her back to the ocean. She, she was sent back to the ocean, so um, she's not a threat. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Okay, um, a penny for your thoughts. You know, Jamie, I've been thinking about exploring lately. Let's go together, baby. Uh -huh. Which do you prefer, leisurely exploration or action-filled adventure? Action-filled adventure, let's go, Eric. Hey, there's nothing like grand adventures on the high sea. Diving into the unknown is dangerous sometimes. Not when I have you. I know you'll stab the sea witch for me. I mean, um, I know that you'll protect me. <laughs> but that makes it more exciting. Oh, you again. Just teasing, dear. Delightful to see you. Um, well, how do I get something from her? <laughs> oh, do I need to go into their houses, grab the phone? Oh, see, I just, I didn't read all the way. Okay. Okay, one pinwheel. Ooh, a potion bottle. What is that? I mean, that's a candle. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got it. And his pickaxe. There we go. Here, Ursula, take the things. Oh my god, I love her. She's perfect. Congratulations, angelfish. And no hiccups this time. See how well things go when you do exactly what I say and don't try to come up with your own ideas. Um, Ursula, as someone who is an evil genius as well, that would actually drive me insane. 
Now we'll have to wait. Some of the ingredients for the enchantment need to marinate, and I'll have to get everything ready. Perfection takes time, but for me, only about 15 minutes. Come back when it's ready. Oh, so I only have to wait 15 minutes? Thank God, I can wait that long. <laughs> Take this enchanted microphone and place it in the Glade of Trust. I'll complete the enchantment there, and none of my backup singers will have stage fright ever again. Ah, 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 ah. Ursula, what are you up to? Wait, what do you mean? Uh -huh. It's a surprise, Jamie. Well, let's see. She's getting Mother Gothel, Kristoff, and Mirabelle, so if anything bad happens to them, in reality it's just revenge. So, now place this enchanted microphone in the Glade of Trust and you'll see what I mean for yourself. Okay! <laughs> Ursula, what did you do? <laughs> Did you do? Hi. That performance with Ursula. I feel kind of strange. My throat is a bit sore. Here, let me try to sing. Adore me. I, I can't. She stole my singing voice. Oh no. <laughs> good, good, Ursula. Great job. Perfect. Magnificent. My friend Spin is going to be pretty upset. He loves our duets, but hey, I guess it could have been worse. I can still play music. Ursula, you literally did this for revenge, didn't you? Oh my god, I love her. She's perfect. Um, don't worry. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Totally. Yeah. Totally. That scheming, no talent, sea witch. This was all a trap. I swear she took something from me. Well, I mean, you guys are best friends, so in all honesty, Mother Gothel, I feel like um, she was probably just playing Frank on you. It was probably more so like getting revenge on Mirabelle and Kristoff, and I, I, I think she'll give it back to you, Mother Gothel. I'm really not concerned because you guys are best friends. But what, what is? But what was it? What did she take, Jamie? Your singing voice. Me, 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 me. Ah, it's gone. My beautiful voice. Oh, well, get back at her for... Don't. That's only going to make things worse. I'll get your voice back, I promise. All right, where did Mirabelle go? She, like, ran off to act like she and Kristoff aren't an item. Like, Mirabelle, get it together. Like, she ran off... Oh, she's gonna go rub it in Moana's face. She is rubbing it in Moana's face that she went to go sing with Kristoff. Mirabelle, I love Moana, so if you could like not try to intimidate her, that would be great. Something's wrong. Ursula's enchantment. I think Ursula stole your singing voice. Quick, try singing something to test it. La la la. Oh no, I can't sing a single note. Don't worry, Mirabelle, I'll get to the bottom of this. See ya. Great job, Ursula, you did amazing. Sweetie Moana, why are you so mad? Oh, it's cause Mirabelle was like, <laughs> all up in her face. Moana, are you okay? Hello. How are you doing? What a great day to sail. See, that's also why Moana would be a threat because she likes sailing. She loves the ocean. What does Eric love? Sailing! The ocean! They would actually be a really cute couple. Wally, what are you doing? Bye, Wally. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, how, you look a little down, Hello. Moana. What do you do when you miss someone? I... Tell stories about them. That's really smart. We tell lots of stories on Montanui. Grandma Tala was an amazing storyteller. What kinds of stories did she tell? All kinds, but her favorite was about our history, how Maui stole the heart of Tafiti, and how the demon who tried to get it back, and about the demon who tried to get it back. Some of my friends used to get scared, but I was just excited. Moana literally lying about why she's upset. Moana, you can do better than Kristoff, okay? Moana, don't be mad. Don't be mad, Moana. It's it's okay. Really it is. You we will find you a better man, okay? You deserve so much better than Kristoff. Really you do. You don't deserve Eric, however. Do not come for my man, okay? 
Mirabelle, get out of Moana's face. Really, please. Ha! Their faces when the enchantment worked. It was priceless. I love you, Vanessa. Why would you do that? Just, just out of curiosity. To get revenge on Mirabelle and Kristoff for cheating on poor, defenseless Anna. I needed backup voices. Just the voices. No need for singers to be there and possibly steal the show. Uh, we were all rooting for you. Oh god, they literally threw America's Next Top Model in there. Um, you have to fix this, Ursula. No, you don't. Keep it up. Keep going. Uh, if it really bothers you so much, it doesn't, quite frankly. You like give Mother Gothel back her voice so that you guys can like rekindle your friendship, but keep Mirabelle's and Kristoff's. Like, keep it. Really, really do it. Since you insist, I'll give them back their voices. Uh -huh. But it's going to take some time. That first enchantment was exhausting. Come see me in an hour! I'm not waiting until 10.30 in the evening. We're at a time skip. <laughs> We're at a time skip. Your face is so smooth and your color so healthy. Oh, you flatterer, I'll tell you my secret. Parenting. Having children keeps you young. Oh god, no it does not. <laughs> oh! Uh -huh. Oh, Mother Gothel! <laughs> She's trying to trick her. Or was she being sarcastic? Was she being sarcastic? No, I wouldn't be surprised if she was trying to just get Ursula to look old instead. <laughs> Ah, Jamie, there you are. If you insist on restoring Mirabelle, Mother Gothel, and Kristoff's singing voices, I'm finally feeling rested enough. But I'll need my favorite assistant's help. Well, what do you say? Yes, I'll help you. What happened to their voices? How do we restore them? Well, first, you'll have to catch them. What? Catch them? <laughs> exactly. I turned them into squid. Girl! Once you've fished them up, you'll still need a special ingredient from each of our poor, tuneless souls. A magic spark of creativity. Create a piece of a song with each of them. We got one squid. Excuse me? Oh, am I not? I don't have Vanessa with me. Vanessa! Squid number two. Squid number three. Okay, talk to Mirabeau, Kristoff, and Mother Gothel. Use a hand over here. Oh um, no, I need a hand. Hello. You need a voice. Except I won't give it to you because of what you did to Anna and me. Anna and me. You betrayed us both. Jamie, let me guess. You need me for another musical number? I don't appreciate your sass, Kristoff. I need you to craft a line of song about yourself so you can get your singing voice back. Wow. A line of song? What a melody do? Unfortunately, we need words. The first line has to come from you and the second from me. Oh, well, here goes nothing. I'm Kristoff, raised by trolls and best friend to a reindeer. I'm the guy Han Anna. I'm the guy Anna holds dear. Yeah, so you can remember that you were supposed to be with Anna. He laughed. He laughed. Kristoff, how could you do this to Anna? Oh my gosh. I sure hope this works. Use a few more sleds around here. I sure hope it doesn't work, actually. Any news about my missing singing voice, Jamie? As a matter of fact, I'm working on it right now. I need you to craft a line about yourself. Like in a song. A song? Hmm. How's this? I'm Mirabelle, and I love to sing. Hearing people is sort of my thing. Ooh, I like that. Thanks, Jamie. No, hopefully Ursula never tries anything like this again. I hope she does, actually. Ursula, you can do it again anytime to Mirabelle and Kristoff. Ah, Jamie, you finally come to apologize. After all, you were the one that helped that scheming sea witch steal from me. Ursula, I mean not Ursula, Mother Goblet, she was just pranking you, I promise. She'll give you back your voice. 
she regrets her actions. I should hope so. To restore your voice, I'll need you to craft the first part of a musical line about yourself for the enchantment. And I suppose you'll add a rhyme to it. Yes, that's the idea. Then I'll try not to make it too hard for you, dear. Hmm. Mother Gothel, a vision of beauty and grace. <gasps> and she has a few wrinkles on her face. Oh my gosh, no. Be careful or she'll put you in your place. Oh, I most certainly will. Yes, you will. Bravo, Jamie. That's all I need from you. Thanks. Here, Ursula. Look at you, angelfish, all done. And I'm sure you have rhymes for each villager. Yep, they go like this. I'm Mirabelle and I love to sing. Helping people is sort of my thing. I'm Kristoff, raised by trolls and best friend to a reindeer. I'm the guy Anna holds dear. That one sounded weird. Mother Gothel, a vision of beauty and grace. Be careful or she'll put you in your place. Well, that won't be winning any Song of the Year awards, but it'll do the trick. Mm. Now, while I finish the potion, you'll have to craft a stage. The enchantment requires one, and be sure it's something that fits. You'll need clam, scallop clay, and hardwood. All right, Ursula, here's your stage. Yeah. Jamie, I knew I could count on you. Now, there's just the matter of putting everything together. And here it is. It's gorgeous, Ursula. Place it in the Glade of Trust as soon as you're ready. My advice, wait for the sun to set. The mood will be perfect then. Oh, wait. Oh, place the enchanted stage in the Glade of Trust. I don't have to wait until like 5 p.m. to make this work, do I? <laughs> I love that for you, Vanessa. Oh, it's you, Angelfish. Um, what do you need? Mm. You probably should speak to our formal backup singers and make sure the disenchantment worked. Oh, okay. Hello. La la, mother knows best. Finally, the thieving sea witch gave me my voice back. Oh, I know you assisted, dear, which is only fair since you helped her steal it in the first place. You're right, Mother Gothel, but everyone makes mistakes. I'll just know never to forget this one. Ta-ta, Jamie. Okay. Why does Mirabelle keep running off? She's living in so much shame. And you are better than people. La la, hey, my singing voice is back. Darn it. Thanks for your help, Jamie. I've kind of been working on a song for Anna, so I'm glad she'll get to hear it. Yeah, you better be working on an apology song for Anna. I really appreciate it. It's probably doing it for Mirabelle. Mirabelle. La la la, the fan me madrigal. It worked, gracias, Jamie. My singing voice is back. That's it? Okay. Bye. She, she literally just tried. My camera stopped recording. So we got the stage and the microphone. I love that. Maybe someday you could put on a show. Where are the other ones I used to stage when I lived in the palace? Probably not, Ursula. I'll never be as amazing as you. Is that it? Did we complete all the quests? Wow. I guess that's it. That's kind of short. But like, at the very least, we got Vanessa. Like, I can't believe it. Look at her. Look at that hair. That beautiful raven hair. I don't know what's going on in her little tushy there. What? What is that? What is happening here? Is this coming from like the fountain? Like, what's going on? What? What is going on? Ursula? I'm so confused. Is that like a coffee bean or something? I don't understand. I don't understand what's happening. Anyway, we have Vanessa finally in the village and I'm so excited to get to walk around with her in my teen girl squad. Teen girl squad! and be baddies together. Oh, there goes my boyfriend. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm going to end the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel for more Disney Dreamlight Valley content, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!